I'm Roman Brattle, producer of Watch Lab. Watch Lab currently has an opportunity for a paid internship. You pay us for the internship. It's $1,000 a month for the privilege of interning for us. And for your convenience, we accept PayPal. I'm a firm believer in protecting the environment, which is why I use a rickshaw for transportation. It's carbon neutral. You must be able to transport me in my rickshaw up and down the steep hills of Brattleboro so that I can get my organic mocha lattes, take my yoga classes, and visit my many poly lovers. What I don't want to hear is, oh, I'm having heart palpitations. I don't think I could push you up this hill without a water break. I don't want to hear that crap. Do you want to hear that crap? This is what I want to hear from you. How fast should I push you up this hill, sir? While my lawyers tell me to say that this is not a workplace requirement, it would be really nice if you had an interest in joining me in my group sex sessions with all my male, female, and non-binary friends. And then afterwards, we like to do a group Buddhist meditation so we could get in touch with our Buddha nature. It would be really nice to have Bernie Sanders supporters as I am hoping that his progressive agenda will get these dirty fucking homeless people off the streets. Thank you and good luck. Casio's W96H series watch has been around for a while, but recently Casio added colored variants into this series. I'm the first person on YouTube to show you one of these color variants, the W96H-4AV, which I dub the Harvard. The first thing you will probably want to know about the Harvard is, is it red or pink? As it's hard to tell from the photos. The color is the crimson used by Harvard University. The color of the top portion of the display is pink. I will be comparing the Harvard against the Casio W800H-1AV, which I dub the Swimmy, because it has an impressive 100 meters of water resistance. There will be no clear winner in this battle of cheap Casio Digitals. Both of these watches have strengths as well as flaws. It will be up to you to decide which of these watches are better suited for your particular needs. I didn't see the Harvard at Walmart, yet you can get it from Walmart mail order right now for $19. Currently, you can buy the Swimmy from both Walmart mail order as well as Amazon for $15.41. I'll leave a link to these watches in the description. Since the Harvard is new, I suspect the price will go down a little as more retailers get it in stock. The Harvard and the Swimmy are basically cut out of the same mold and aren't that different. The biggest difference between the two watches is that the Harvard is sexy as hell, and the Swimmy is pretty ordinary. Both watches have the same modern four-button Casio user interface, which is very easy to use. Both watches have dual time and allow you to see the time while not in time mode. The Harvard's alarm is slightly louder than the Swimmy's. It's roughly 55 decibels, while the Swimmy's alarm is roughly 50 decibels. On both of these watches, the chime, or what Casio calls the signal, is as loud as the alarm. For me, the chime is way too loud. The Swimmy has a longer display, which allows for larger characters. The Harvard's crystal is slightly curved. The Swimmy's crystal is flat. The Swimmy's flat crystal gives it a slight advantage over the Harvard when attempting to read the watch at angles. While both watches do fairly well at angles, the base level G-Shock handily outperforms both of these watches on angular visibility. Both watches will scratch pretty easily, though you should be able to buff out most of these scratches using toothpaste. The Harvard has a very disappointing 50 meters of water resistance, which means that it's probably best if you do not swim with the Harvard on. You're probably okay taking it into the shower, but I wouldn't. I really have to scratch my head and wonder why Casio is building the Harvard as a sports watch, yet you can't play water sports with the Harvard. Certainly Casio has the technology to give the Harvard the 100 meters of water resistance that the Harvard should have been given. Is the Swimmy the good son and the Harvard the bad son? What gives? 
The Swimmies buttons are not loose, but they do take too little force to activate and, for me, get accidentally pressed too often when doing physical activities. The Harvard, on the other hand, has nice firm buttons that take a reasonable amount of effort to activate. This helps to prevent accidental activation. Both watches have cheap plastic straps. The Harvard has a nice, for lack of a better word, lip here to keep the keeper in place. This is a really nice feature. The Swimmy does not come with two keepers. I took a keeper from a different Casio and placed it on the Swimmy to keep the keepers in place while I wore it. The one keeper that the Swimmy comes with is not sufficient. As you can see, not only does Casio sign the buckle of the Swimmy, but they sign the keeper. This is a really nice touch. It's very disappointing to me that Casio didn't include any product branding at all on the Harvard's clasp or keeper. I was unable to wear the Harvard in order to do a proper test of its feel. The reason being that the watch band didn't fit. It was either too loose or too tight. That has never happened to me before. The Swimmy fits me fine and is reasonably comfortable. What really bugs me about the Swimmy's band is that it's pre-curved handcuff style, like the G-Shock. I don't like watches that don't lie flat because they are awkward and give me a minor pain in the ass. Also, I don't like watches that feel like handcuffs. I suspect that this is very subjective. Many people, I suspect, will love the pre-curved nature of the Harvard's band. What is bad for me is not necessarily bad for you, and you will really need to actually put the Harvard on your wrist to see if it feels good for you. The conservative choice is, however, the Swimmy. The Swimmy feels like any other cheap plastic digital watch. The lights of both of these watches are equal in quality and work perfectly fine. Here's a wrist shot of the Harvard. I have six and three quarters inch wrists. And here is a wrist shot of the Swimmy. I suspect that both of these watches are very durable, and I think both watches are good values, especially considering how much battery life they offer. Subscribe, bitches.